American legal scholar David Rudenstein argues in his new book that the Supreme Court has abdicated its constitutional responsibility by allowing the president to go unchecked in matters of national security. He claims the United States is in an age of deference where state secrets and executive privilege are excuses for presidential overreach. Yo, presidents adore it. <laughs> they don't just like it. <laughs> presidents urge this position, they applaud this position, and they say that is the only appropriate role for the court to play in the American scheme of government. Congress applauds this role. I find it shameful. I think it's something that the members of the court should be deeply embarrassed about. There ought to be a dissent. <laughs> Uh, there ought to be powerful statements by individual justices that this is outrageous. In case after case, you conclude that the Supreme Court is moving America toward a national security state. What's your fear? The concern is that, in fact, the Supreme Court's deference to the executive branch authorizes, if not encourages, the executive, executive officials to violate the law. They don't do that by announcing it, but by having a long pattern of judicial deference towards the executive branch. Executive officials know that they can ignore the law uh, without meaningful judicial accountability. So that's a major problem for a country that is committed to the rule of law. Uh, and it undermines the nation's commitment to the rule of law. It leaves individuals who are injured without a judicial remedy of any kind, uh, which is a, a serious blow uh, to maintaining peace and order in a democratic society and maintaining faith in the system. Uh, and in the end, I think, puts the constitutional order uh, on edge.